I'm Paul Hutton, President and Wealth Manager at Hutton Wealth Management. I'd like to welcome you to our Economic and Market Update. Today our agenda is very straightforward. First, I'd like to share with you a brief Economic and Market Update. Then we will discuss some proactive guidance moving forward. Before I begin, I find it always important to review that there are five key areas of financial planning. They are preservation planning, retirement planning, tax planning, estate planning, <clears throat> and investment planning. As a comprehensive wealth management firm, we try to always consider the impact of any recommendation that we make, not just in one, but in all of these areas for our clients. Today's presentation will be primarily focused on investment planning and equity markets. At our firm, we partner with clients and believe an educated client is our best client. While we will always try our best to help you when it comes to your finances, we believe that knowledge is power. One of our missions is to share with our clients any knowledge that we can that will help them make informed decisions. Looking back to the start of 2020, investors had oh, a, a most unusual ride. On February 19th of 2020, the Standard & Poor's, the S&P 500 in index, closed at an all-time high. Sadly, without warning, COVID hit and became a worldwide pandemic. Investors saw a 30-day decline, over 33%, which finally reached a bottom on March 23rd of 2020. It's hard to believe that's been a year. For those who did not panic, good news arrived on August 18th as the S&P 500 index once again rallied to an all-time high. That's the fastest it's gone down one direction and the fastest it's gone back up in another direction. Fast forward to late April 2021 and the index, despite volatility, again made new highs. Interest rates continue to be on the forefront of our watch list as well. With vaccinations being distributed, the economy on the rebound, the Federal Reserve offered an improved economic forecast during its March 2021 monetary policy meeting. Despite the predicted upward trend in the economy and inflation, the majority of the Fed Policy Committee members remain steadfast to keeping their key federal funds rate at or near 1%. <clears throat> they cited in 2024 as the first year they anticipate rate hikes, nothing noting that the Fed needed a substantial further progress toward unemployment numbers and the price stability before they could raise rates. With safety comes cost. Have you seen what interest rates at banks are currently offering to savers right now? According to Barron's, the average bank money market rate on April 19th of this year were 0.07%, and the average 12-month CD rate was 0.18%. At a rate of 0.18% without taxes, it would take over 350 years to double your money. For many investors today, low rates may not help them reach their goals. Therefore, equities could still be a big part of your diversified portfolio. This past quarter brought many investors tempting distractions. Media magnification is a powerful force. Sensational headlines can leave investors overwhelmed, stressed, confused, depressed, angry. Our objective is to help you carefully create and follow a strategy with realistic financial goals. Veering off course in hopes of short-term gains could potentially compromise the financial fortitude of your long-term goals. Call us if you have any questions about your path and please contact us before making any major sudden moves. Also, your personal health is imperative and stress doesn't help any of that. So an essential factor when selecting types of investments is to include in your portfolio is your time horizon. This is the amount of time that you earmark to reach your goals. An investor that can commit to a 10-year time horizon can review different choices as compared to someone who needs to use that money in six months. Investors should always try to match their portfolios to their goals and time horizons. This can help them keep the big picture in mind and hopefully curtail any distractions caused by short-term developments. This is something 
that we can enjoy helping our clients with. If clients are focused on their long-term goals, we can help manage any anxieties caused by short-term market noise or volatility. Our goal is to help our clients avoid making impulsive investment decisions. Another key investment factor that you can control is your risk appetite or the amount of acceptance that you have for risk. We want to emphasize the importance of keeping your focus on what you can control versus what you cannot. As this illustration shares, you can control your risks, your time horizons, and your behavior. Although many investors focus on outcomes or investment returns, that is something you cannot control. Reviewing your risk appetite to see if it has shifted or checking to see if your time horizons has changed is always important. After you fully outline or update these two foundations for your investment strategies, you can then match your behavior to your investment plan. Thinking long term is still a great way to look at equity investments. Typically, the most successful investors think and act for the long term. It is nearly impossible to predict the exact market movements. However, you can prepare. Equity market volatility is still very present. Equity market downturns or declines are a normal part of the investment experience. Now is an excellent time to move forward with confidence in the plan that you've chosen toward your investment goals. But remember, equity markets are currently high and we always alert our clients that we need to proceed with caution. Recently, President Joe Biden said that he was going to recommend some new tax law changes. While nothing is currently approved, this is something that we will be keeping a very close watch on and keeping clients updated as things progress. The Secures Act uh, that was passed in 2019 and it has changed how retirement funds were transferred to heirs. To try to offer our clients better flexibility on minimizing their taxes on their retirement funds, we will be discussing with clients where appropriate the strategies that come with designating both primary and contingent beneficiaries. Another proactive planning topic we want to be watching is the March in March is the Senator Bernie Sanders filed a Senate proposal called the For the 99.5% Act. This proposal was to reduce the state tax exemption from the current law of $11.7 million per person to 3.5 per person. The estate tax under Senator Sanders plan would start at 45% and go as high as 65%. This is a proposal we will be keeping a close watch on as things develop, and we will be updating you and talking with clients that could be affected. As a quick recap, here are some key points. Despite continued volatility, equity markets in 2021 have started on a high note. Interest rates are expected to remain low for the, un for the foreseeable future. The economic recovery is still largely based on vaccine distribution and reduction of COVID-19 cases. A new administration brings new changes in proposal. Also, caution and vigilance are crucial and critical. Please avoid distractions that sway you from the path of your goals. Focus and make sure your time horizons and your risk appetite are congruent with your goals. And as always, call us with any concerns, call us just to say hi. We'd love to hear from you. Legendary long-term investor, Warren Buffett's business partner, Charlie Munger said, it's waiting that helps you as an investor. And a lot of people just can't stand to wait. So what can you expect from us? One of our main focuses is to review changes for our clients on an ongoing basis. You can expect regular communications, more frequent discussions, and you can expect that we are continuously reviewing economic, tax, estate, and investment issues for each one of you. In fact, we will be offering other workshops that highlight tax changes and planning ideas. We appreciate our clients. As a client benefit, you can add names to our distribution list for viewing this workshop. One of our goals for 2021 is to continue to help others, and you can help us achieve that goal by helping us with names. Some of our best clients will refer to us by our existing clients. So please feel free and comfortable to let us know the names of anyone who you feel would benefit from our services or information. 
Again, one of our primary goals is to keep our clients informed, and we appreciate you watching our updates. Please call us if you have any questions. We are so thankful for the opportunity to assist you with your financial needs. Remember, at our firm, our clients come first, and your health and your well-being is our highest priority. Thank you.